Uh, we're here today with uh, Tony DiMarino. Um, Tony, you want to say hi? Hi. Okay. Thanks for having uh, me, Dave. Tony did the uh, metabolic reset uh, a few months ago and had wonderful results. He was 22.8 pounds lost in five weeks. And, um, you know, tell us a little bit about your story and why you did the metabolic reset. Uh I mean, honestly, uh, I think out of the gate, I wanted to lose weight. We all want to lose weight. And, and, and you try your diet, you try to cut back, you try to do all these things. But, uh, you know, obviously, you had gone through it. A couple of the other fraternity brothers had gone through it with really positive results. And uh, I, I jumped aboard. When, I see, uh, when you see people that you know and you've known for a long time have success with something like this, it's a motivator to say, you know, I can do this. Get, get me, get me signed up. And ha had you tried anything else in the past? Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, well, maybe not anything formalized, but as, as much as, you know, look, I need to control my eating. I need to control my intake. I need to watch my portions. I need to stay more active. Um, all things easier said than done as we've all probably tried it at different points. Um, and it's easy to stay on something for a couple of days or a week, but um, it's also very easy to wander off the path. And, uh, you know, one of the things I liked about this was not only was it easy to stay on the path, but just kind of the support that, that we had with, like, like we said, other, other folks that I know, um, just kind of that motivation and push and, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I had talked about with you and the other guys was the results are somewhat immediate. So that's a motivator in itself. As you see this weight start to come off and every morning you're getting up and you, and you stand on that scale and it's a pound or two pounds less, it's pretty awesome. I mean, that's not something that you typically see and at least I hadn't seen in, in any other kind of diet. Yep. It's nice when you look and you say pound here, pound there, pound the next day. Um, so where did you start from weight-wise? Uh, I thought uh, I was between like 206, 208, something in that neighborhood. And, uh, you know, I could feel myself, I start pushing that 210 level and that's, that's heavy for me. I've always had that kind of, let's say for the past 20 some years, it's been kind of that 15 pound gap that I could never break below. But, you know, if you start to push it too high, you start to realize like, you just feel heavy. You feel, uh, a little slower, less energy. So, um, you know, timing wise, I was looking for something that I wanted to thin down. Uh, I wanted to kind of change some habits. And uh, obviously, again, with what you guys were already doing and some of the success you had, it was something I wanted to try. Okay. Um, how was your overall energy when you were on the program? It was great. Uh, you, you can, there's a noticeable difference. Uh, one of the things that I would always struggle with was, you know, the, the afternoon sleepies, uh, just kind of having that drain at three o'clock and just saying, you know, God, if I, if I had the time, I could lay down on a couch right now and, and take a nap and, uh, and just not having that energy, just not being able to get through the day and just complaining to yourself, why am I so tired? Why am I always so tired? Um, I didn't experience that going through the program. Um, I don't have that now. Uh, it, so, you know, one of the, one of the big things other than just kind of the weight loss and the feel, the differences you feel physically uh, is just that, that energy level Ment mentally, you're just, I, I feel more alert. Great. Great. And you lost 20, 22.8 pounds and it looks to be about three inches off your waist where your clothes fitting better. Yeah, I dropped down, uh, you know, you got to dig through the back of your closet to find clothes that fit you 20 years ago, because sadly, I still have those in the back of the closet somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I was wearing 36 waist pants, and those were borderline getting snug. And, uh, you know, you could feel as you went through it, you pull on your pants, and they start to just slide off your hips. So, you know, why it was, you're losing off your waist, one of the things I found is it's not just belly that you're losing. You lose it everywhere, right? You take the measurements and um, I'm, I'm a suit size, two suit sizes smaller for my jacket. 
because it just my my shoulders are you know they're, they're, I'm thinner all the way around. Yep. Uh, clearly, you lose it in your face, and and uh, you know I, I thought doing the weekly measurements, you know, you gauge everything like okay, well, how are these pants going to fit? But you start to realize all your clothes fit, fit differently. T-shirts, uh, you know, jackets, everything is a little just you're just a little roomier in everything. So uh, you know the the one thing is, and we all tease about it is. Yeah, you're you're gonna go clothes shopping. You do this the right way, and you get through it. You will, you will either be trying to find stuff you wore a long time ago, or you're gonna have to go out to the store and get new stuff. It's a bad, It's a it's a good problem to have, right? Uh, absolutely agree. It's it's fun. So you ended the program. It was back in July, and then you went on vacation. So how did it go on vacation? I uh, vacation was great. I uh, it, and it was all part of the plan, right? Uh, we started. Started the program at the beginning of June. You guys kind of talked us through, talked me through it, and said, "Look, this is going to be you know roughly four to six weeks." And I said, "Well, my five week is we're going on vacation. We're going to go on vacation for two weeks, and and we're going to see family, and we're traveling, and I want to be able to eat and do all the nice things you do on vacation." So um, that was mentally in my head is like you know stick to the plan, do what you need to do. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to get to to do all those things. Um, went on vacation for two weeks and I literally ate, drank. The difference is, Dave, you don't, you're, you're thinking differently anyways. So if it's something as simple as I'm a coffee guy and every morning it's coffee with cream and sugar. Um, now it's just black coffee. So even on vacation, it's black coffee. You realize you're not, you're not taking in those sugars. You're not taking in that cream and, and you start to, you know, all of a sudden I don't feel as bloated. I don't feel as gross after by lunchtime. Um, so yeah, you, you know, Hey, we're going to go have a hoagie. Great. You eat half a hoagie. Not because I don't want to, I'd love to finish it. You just, you can't, you just don't have it like you used to. Um, that sounds a little cheesy to say it that way, but, um, I ate everything I wanted to. I just didn't have the same intake level that I, that I probably had two months before. And that's a good thing. Um, Still came back from vacation after two weeks of, of really letting go. And um, I was probably eight, nine pounds heavier uh, than my bottom weight where we ended, where we ended at. Um, and you get back in your routine. So I didn't necessarily, you know, restart the diet. It was more of the maintenance and lessons learned. You know what you have to do. You know that, okay, look, here's what I should be eating. Here's what I shouldn't be eating. Um, it almost becomes habitual. You're not, uh, you're not as maybe strict on yourself, but you know, you know already what, what works and what doesn't work. And I ended up, I weighed myself a week ago before, uh, I'm traveling for business right now, but last week I weighed in at 180. So I'm actually, I was at a weight below what I ended the diet at after going on vacation for two weeks and kind of doing whatever I wanted to do. So Look, if, if my system has reset itself to be at this level, that's fantastic. I mean, that's that's the new baseline, and I couldn't be happier. Great, great. And have you added exercise back in? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just by you know, just by default, uh, trying to do the cardio. Um, you know, I, I'm a treadmill guy, and it's 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 good for the body and it's good for the mind, yeah. and, and uh, you know, and, and I. I did some of that during uh, the, the diet as well. I mean, I'd always been a, you know, a couple times a week treadmill guy anyways. Right. Now you just kind of up it a little bit. It's a lot easier to get on the treadmill. You're lighter. You, you feel better. And you, you feel better when you're done. So you're not as um, sluggish and, and feeling like, oh, I have to do this. Now you kind of want to do it. You're like, yeah, hey, you know what? I'll get on the treadmill. So you're down about 25 pounds from where you started after two weeks of vacation and – you know, four or five weeks of maintenance in there after the vacation. So that's a great job. Yeah. Great. Um, so I'm going to ask you one last question. Who would you recommend this for? Anybody, anybody that wants to, to drop some pounds or, you know, has seen their weight creep up over the years and just said all the things that I've said is like, yeah, I got one of these, I gotta, I gotta lose weight. I gotta just get this under control. I need to stop. Um, and we all say that in our heads and we all mentally try to, to, to like, okay, today's the day we're going to stop eating this crap and, and pay more attention to this. And then, um, 
So anybody that wants to drop some pounds, you know, you don't have to, uh, I, I certainly didn't consider myself obese when I started. I was just getting heavy. I was getting heavy for what I considered to be heavy. Uh, but now, you know, here I am now down in the, the 180s, which I haven't seen in I don't know, 20, 25 years. Feels great. I, I've got more energy. So I would say anybody that just just kind of wants to, to, to do that reset and, and take, some, take some weight off, it's, it's not hard to do. Uh, you know, following this routine is, is not difficult. Uh, if it was, I probably wouldn't have been able to make it through. Um, it's just kind of just mentally sticking with it. And, and again, you, you create Facebook groups. We've had text threads. That, that support actually is, is helpful. Um, not just not only where you are today, it's like, hey, oh, hey, can I eat this? No. Or, you know, yes, you can have some of this, but not all of that. Whatever. It's, uh, I, I think it's good to have the, the, the support around you and, and just have that conversation and know that, yeah, you got a couple other people trying to doing the same thing or have already done the same thing. Um, that, that was, that was very helpful for me. Good. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Um, and just I, one more question, um, your family, your kids, they notice the difference in your energy. What that now, able to do? now it's, they can't, they can't, you know, dad, you're getting a little fat. So now they can't tease about that. Right. And, um, you know, the wife obviously makes comments about, well, actually you get, you get in a little trouble because, you know, you're pulling out crap that's 25 years old. <laughs> you're going to wear that? I'm like, look, it's all that fits me right now. Yeah, I, I got to wear that. You know, so if you're you're wearing a pair of pleated shorts like that, you know, aren't haven't been in fashion, you're like, but this is all I got. So um, that part's fun. Look, it, it's fun to be like, man, I I remember the last time I wore these things. Like it's it's been, you know, it was before I was married. So. Uh, you know, that part was enjoyable the, to get the family on board and just not that you know, the family in general was eating unhealthy, but for them to see like, Hey, look, you can eat what I eat. And this ain't, this is not bad. This is not like some crappy bland diet that you have to eat. I mean, there's, there is a fair amount of leniency and, 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 uh, you know, variety and what you, what you can and can't eat. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 again, when it comes down to it, it was, it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, I never felt like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm wasting away here. Um, I was always comfortable. And, and I, I, I kind of think it, at our point in our lives and a certain age, you know, if you're really uncomfortable, you stop doing it. And I, I never felt that way. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Well, we're enjoy your rest of your day. I appreciate your time and uh, have a good afternoon. Dave, thanks.